What is up everybody, Moritz here from Sections to once again. And today we will be having a look at how you can get this Progress Circle Sections to your very own Shopify store. It's gonna be fully customizable. You're not gonna need any developer or whatsoever. And at the end of the day, it's gonna be pretty fast as well. So yeah, let's have a look into it. The first thing I did for that was that I headed on over to the Section Store app, which I got in the Shopify App Store. It's a non-subscription app. That means you can get the app completely for free. And even after downloading and installing sections, you can still delete the app. So that is pretty good. And it's gonna leave your store pretty fast. So you don't have to worry about that one. Okay, it's continue with the one we were speaking about. It's the progress circles you saw right here. Nike is actually having a pretty similar one in their store just so you know. And yeah, I got this one for a small fee of $9. But like I said already, you're not going to need a developer. It's a one time charge. So you don't have to pay for it ever again. And you can own it forever too. So I think it's a really good time and money saver as well if you think about it like that. And you can customize it to your likings whenever you want to. So you have the full freedom in that. All right. After successfully getting the section, head back to the My Sections area of the app where you can find a collection of all the sections you do already own. And now we want to install it to the theme we're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Live theme. You really have to do that. Otherwise, you won't see it in the theme editor, which is what we're going to open up right here. I've already opened up the theme editor right there. That's a little test version I already did. I'm just going to delete this so we can start completely from scratch and you see how the whole progress of customizing and adding that section look. Let's just click here and then type in progress circles. That is the one. Let's save it up real quick. And in the beginning of the video, you could see that that bar was actually filled out. And I'm going to show you first of all how you can do that. A few other things you can do. My challenge, whatever you want to type in there actually, but that's just going to be for the headline. We're going to use a custom font for that. And the heading size is going to be a little bit bigger. We can even center it. We can decide how many circles we want to have per row. So it's just going to flip in the next one. It also is fully responsive. So if we switch to mobile right here, you can see that is working too. Let's go back to desktop. And yeah, like I said already, a bunch of things we can do. If we click on animate circle progress, that is what I wanted to show you and save it up real quick. You can see that the actual progress will get animated. So that is what we wanted. And we can decide the animation duration and a bunch of other things as well. But I don't want to bore you with that now. I just want to give you a brief overview of what is possible. And the last thing I would like to do is changing the colors in that. So instead of that yellow, I would have it in blue. And the progress circle color is going to be in green. So we're going to save that up real quick and have a final look at it before we check it out. That is looking nice. Perfect. I'm happy with that. And if we would want to change the title right here, we can do that too. So instead of design, we can do filmmaking. Let's say you're a media company and you want to show customers what you're actually on about. Let's save it up again. And if that is working fine, we're going to have a final look at it in the live version. So as you can see here, the percentual progress of that bar is getting shown. Open up the live store here real quick. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see we get this nice animation. We change the colors as well. All the fonts and sizes, colors, whatever you prefer are changeable too. And you can add all the paddings in the world to it too. But yeah, that was pretty much it. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And if you have any suggestions about sections we should build in the future for you, we're always happy to hear. With that being said, have a good one and peace out.